More recently, I went to a train show and managed to pick up the classic Beetle Spotter's Guide. The small guide was filled with everything EMD, General Electric, Alco, Baldwin, and uh... Cummins? Yeah. When looking deeper into the guide, I found a handful of diesels from EMD and GE that I forgot to cover, given that I wasn't aware of their existence until recently, and I managed to combine the few EMD and GE leftovers into one small video, which contains some box caps, tunner switchers, and other oddities. With that out of the way, let's dive into the EMD and GE leftovers reviewed in 10 words or less. How many companies love going for this box cap design? Those are some slopey frames, my friend. I'll say it again. Canadian narrow gauge supremacy. Those trucks remind me of Half-Life 2 for some reason. I'm surprised one ended up in the middle of nowhere. Good expert locomos overall. Case closed. I somewhat love and hate these at the same time. No. 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 <sighs> A literal shit stain on the SD40's existence. The most doodlebug of all time. Rock Island's hidden gem, and they are amazing. The slowest start for GE. An escapee from box cap syndrome. Aside from the clustered roof, overall decent. Something feels off about this unit. Two engines for a one of a kind. All my friends know the low rider. Now condensed to fit in tight spaces. Wait, Jesus, it's so tall and narrow. And another thing, you're ugly. Somewhat enhanced design and less ugly than before. Smaller than the 45 tonner, and they're. fine. More squarish design, huh? The offspring of the 70 tonner. Georgia's hidden oddities. The forgotten cousin of the Tunner family. The streamlined nose actually looks nice on this unit. A less chunky version of the 110 Tunners. How many exports does America keep behind again? Yeah, I want to forget this one, please. <sighs> How many mandate passenger variants are there? Like, goddamn! Hello, everybody, this is me again. I'm sorry if this is much shorter than you expect. There was just a few locomotives to cover here, so I want to at least bring it down the small video. As for the other locomotive builders, those will be covered in New Year. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next video, and hope you enjoyed. Take care folks, and nevermore.